Welcome back to Swap Shop. Let's go to the phones. Good morning, line one. You're on the air. Thank you, sir. Hey. Um, I have a looking for item. Okay. I'm looking for a zero turn lawnmower that's in really good condition. Uh-huh. And if it has a trailer with it, that'll be good, too. Okay. If somebody wants to make some fast cash. All right. Um, I'd be... Glad to buy it. All right. My number is 772-708-4628. So what do you have? How much would you take for that? And uh, okay, pictures are available. That's no problem. You can always call and ask for pictures because it's just as easy. If you call on a phone to get on the show, you, that same phone that gives you the power to get on the radio and make yourself some money also empowers you to make a picture available. <laughs> you can do this on your own without my help. You've got a phone, it's a camera, it's also a a video camera. Well, you can make a little a, you make these funny little videos every now and then and share them on social media, right? Well, why don't you make one about the swap shop? About a minute or less. Don't go over a minute cuz they're 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 huge when you try to send them by email, but I'll let you send it to me by email. If you want to Tell us a little something about the swap shop, or perhaps you just want to talk about the item, take a picture of your item, and talk about it while you're taking that picture, and then send it to me. I'll give you the email, cliff at wpsl.com. You do that, and of course, uh, from there, I'll just a little something that the swap shop has done for you, and or some of the things that you've had fun doing on the swap shop over the years, or maybe a, a precious swap shop memory you'd like to share. Get out that phone. Put it on video and, and aim it at yourself and uh, m- make sure your hair's on straight. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little something about this show. And I'm going to be trying to collect some of those. I'm serious. Now, I want to collect them just like they are. Just send them straight to Put two Fs on it. That'll work, too. Cliff with one F or Cliff with two. Any way you want to spell it. Cliff at wpsl.com send that send that little video on over about the swap shop and i'll uh, i'll take a look at it and see what we could do with it because what i want to do ultimately with it is uh, i'm going to call it swap shop 101 we're going to talk about some of the cool things about swap shop that you need to know if you'd like to become a regular on this show cuz folks have folks have become swap shop celebrities and this is going to be for the swap shop celebrities who have no fear of their cell phone camera, okay? And now you've done it before with your friends. Remember when everybody was doing the duck lips thing? They'd take a picture with their friend and they'd stick out their lips like they were a duck or something? And that was the big thing, and everybody was sharing that. This isn't quite like that, but in a way it is because you're showing off some of your swap shop stuff that you sell. Tricky, so you'll have to you have to do one other thing. You'll need to turn the radio all the way down. As soon as you dial three four zero fifteen ninety, you're going to hear it start to ring. And when you do, turn the radio down to keep the phone in your ear. It's important that you keep the phone in your ear. That way you'll know. Because if I pick up the phone and say you're live on the air, you don't have to ask a question like, "Is that me?" You don't get a second chance to make a first impression. I'm trying to help you out here. Because I want you to make a great first impression. And I want you to be proud of your participation in the Swap Shop because it's a way to pick up some cash on a daily basis. 55 minutes a day of opportunity knocking. You can't you can't shake a stick at that. <laughs> That's pretty solid. That's pretty cool. And it works. And when it works for you, it ultimately works altogether because once you realize... What this daily 55-minute-long opportunity knocking every day, Monday through Saturday mornings, 9.05 till 10, you can utilize that time. Now, you don't have to spend the whole hour trying to get through. It's quite easy to get through. You pick up the phone, dial 772-340-1590. That will get you directly on the air immediately to offer up items that you no longer need that still hold some value. Now, that's another thing, the items. The items here in sunny South Florida, if you're thinking about moving here, and a lot of folks are, you call in live on the air to buy, sell, and trade. Look for hard-to-find items so we give items away around your upcoming or existing yard sales. The yard sale is another great thing. 
whenever you call this show from your yard sale while this show is on the air and your yard sale is in progress. That is a free live remote broadcast from your yard sale starring you. So, hey, even if your yard sale is on a Tuesday, and even if you're not planning on having one till this weekend, it's never too early in the week to go ahead and let our listeners know when you're going to have your yard sale so you'll have a nice crowd from Palm Bay to PGA, up and down the highway, coming to your yard sale, and you promote it on the Swap Shop. We'll be right back with the second half of today's show. And you know, Swap Shop is the headquarters for the do-it-yourselfers out there. See, do-it-yourselfers who know how to fix anything and everything, they call this show looking for stuff that doesn't work because they only need parts because they know how to fix anything. And if you're a do-it-yourselfer, perhaps you're a fabricator. you got to be a fabricator if you're in radio. <laughs> you're we're fabricating this show for you right now, by golly. Come on in. It's here for you, the Swap Shop, 340-1590, allowing you to sell your stuff on the air. What do you got? How much would you take for that? Are pictures available? Is that a negotiable price still? Is that a Norbest offer, or is that a firm price you're asking for that item? These and other questions, you might get a call from somebody who might ask one of them. Like one of the big ones, are pictures available? Now, if you've got a cell phone, if you called me on a cell phone, on the swap shop to relate on the air items that you have for sale. Well, you know, you could just as easy when you call, either just before you call or just after you call, as long as you do it at some point, take some pictures of that item that you want to sell. A picture's worth a thousand words. And somebody might call and say, hey, can you send me a picture of that? I'd like to see what it looks like. And you can do so with the greatest of ease with using your cell phone. Take a picture of the item. When they contact you, can you send me a picture? Of course you can. Reply to that call on your cell phone and attach a picture of that item to it. You can do that. You know how to do that. Well, if you could do that, you also know how to send in a little uh, blatant promotion of your stuff or what Swap Shop has done for you. And how much fun you've had. It's either the fun part. Let's let's kind of share with our friends listening in. What kind of fun can you have on Swap Shop? I know the time goes by when you're having fun, but what kind of fun are you actually having when you call Swap Shop? Well, it's the, the thrill of the hunt. You're going fishing. You get to go fishing. You, you might catch something, right? Figuratively speaking, of course. So you tune into this swap shop and you're listening in and somebody calls in with an item. That you, in the back of your mind, you've been looking for it for a long time. Maybe you've got a bucket list of stuff that you'd like to have now that you live here in sunny South Florida. There's nothing wrong with a bucket list. And going through the items in that bucket list, it's an imaginary list of stuff you'd like to have. And since you're all settled in here in sunny South Florida now, now it's time to start finding that stuff. Morning line one, you're on Swap Shop. Good morning, Cliff. Hi there. I have for sale the original Arizona Jeans Company Barbie. Wow. Blonde Barbie wears a ball cap, a bomber jacket, has a backpack, boots, and straight leg denim jeans. She was right. made in 1995, but she looks like today. Okay. The, I'm the... asking 20 bucks for the original Arizona Jeans Barbie. Arizona of Bean, course. Arizona Beans, Barbie. Arizona Jeans. Jeans, Arizona Jeans. Okay, all right. Yeah, I want to uh, make sure to get it right. Arizona Jeans, yeah, she Barbie. Looks, uh-huh. She looks like somebody walking around the mall today. Yeah, yeah, modern, uh, modern day, uh, modern day Barbie look. Okay, mm-hmm. twenty five. And my last item is a collection of one hundred twenty five American patriotic and political postcards. They go okay. from the 1890s to the 1980s. Oh, okay. They're kept in sleeves in a proper album. And I'm looking for somebody to call and come in and examine them because these are not $2 cards. Okay. All righty. My telephone number is 772-529-0412. 
I got to look at what I wrote here. I wrote it so fast. Uh, 125 American patriots and politicians or, or po- political. Uh, political postcards. Po- okay, postcards. All right. Postcards. Yeah, the serious collectibles for the serious collector of postcards. 1890 through 1980s. Wow. Wow. Okay. And I got the number two as well. So thank you. Appreciate it, Barbie girl. Thanks for calling. Thank in. you very much. All right. Bye, Joe. Yep, the Barbie girl has called the show, and she specializes in helping folks who want to start a Barbie collection. She can help you. Here's one for you. It's the uh, the original Arizona Jeans Company Barbie. She's wearing a ball, ball cap, backpack, boots, and uh, skinny jeans, the denims. She has that. Ni- 1995 was the year that she came out, but uh, 20 bucks. Wow, not bad. Also, 125 American patriotic and uh, political postcards. Uh, they must be seen. They range in date areas from 1890 through the 1980s. So check that out at 772-529-0412. Make a deal. Ooh. Hey, good morning. You're live on the Swamp Shop Show. I got a fender. This is a... SR8300P, this is a mixer, somebody for a band or, you know, practice uh, band uh-huh. situation or a DJ, something like that. Very nice shape. Everything works. All right. I got to get um, 250 bucks for it. All righty. I also have a bunch of tuners, amplifiers, preamps, stuff like that. I got a couple speakers laying around. Let me yep. turn this radio on. There's another one I'm working on. <laughs> okay. Hey, right, well, if you want to know about this, this is a Morant. It is a receiver. It's one of the uh, biggest ones that they ever made. It's a model 2325. Wow. Uh, wow, well, since I've seen one of those. I remember those. Got to weigh about 60 pounds. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to either have it fixed or you could buy it right now for 400 Okay. No I, it, uh, it's got one channel that's uh, kind of uh, jiggly, so that's that. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Uh, what, what else do I need? Oh, I got, need a sidecar. Yeah. Side car? Look, look at that sidecar. Where is it at? <laughs> you know all about it. All right. I'll see you later. I'm All right, 551-265-6858, five, five, uh, six, eight, eight. what's that? Yeah. And you know, there's some pretty nice furniture out there on this show from time to time. We've told you about the $7,000 Lazy Boy recliners that went on this show for 50 bucks. Well, how do you know there was a $7,000 Lazy Boy? Well, you, you know... When you're out there on the swap shop every day and, the, and Google hears everything, Google hears all, Google knows all, and you say things about something and all of a sudden familiar ads start popping up. I can talk about a Google, uh, a Google, uh, a Lazy Boy recliner. And, and if Google or Alexa hears me talking about it, well, the pop-up ads that appear when you're looking at videos on YouTube, it will skip the ad in five seconds. That ad. When you watch them and you find out what these things are worth, you start realizing, wow, somebody sold a $7,000 Lazy Boy recliner for 50 bucks on Swap Shop? Yes. And things like that can and do happen occasionally. And wow, when you're a recipient of something really cool like that, I know it. You, I know you buy it on the swap shop, take it home, and tell everybody you bought it over at uh, what you call it. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you don't want to tell anybody about the bargains and the money you can make on the swap shop because you're afraid they're going to take it from you. And you know what? They can't do that. There's not enough people to take a swap shop away from its listeners. Unless, of course, they don't call. Now, when you don't call a, a call-in show, the opportunity will, the door will close someday. This door will close abruptly when it does, you see. 